Welcome! Watching this video will take 10 minutes of your time and will leave you with tons of useless information about Persona 5 that you'll most likely forget as soon as you click off this video. Let's begin. Ryuji and Futaba both have canonically dyed their hair to be the color they have, with their natural hair color being black. When choosing a name for the Phantom Thieves, Anne suggests you call it the Diamonds. If you go along with the suggestion, everyone goes out of their way to acknowledge it. Unfortunately though, you don't have enough characters to call it Tilefish Poilé. Oya gets the Devil Arcana from the old folklore story of meeting the devil at the crossroads. The main melody of the song Price that plays Kaneshiro's palace uses a West Asiatic tribal instrument called a zerna. Unlike previous entries in the Persona series, the year Persona 5 takes place in is left ambiguous. However, a TV report mentioning Recent. Kujikawa from Persona 4 states that she's 20 years old, meaning Persona 5 takes place in 2016 considering she was 15 during the events of Persona 4, which took place in 2011. Caroline and Justine's hats spell out oxymoron, which is a word meaning a statement that contradicts itself. What could that possibly mean? In the Persona 5 dancing game, An's hair is colored cream blonde instead of pale blonde. The texture for Akechi's phone reveals that he is, in fact, a Redditor, but a psychopath. While most of the protagonist's past is shrouded in mystery and isn't explicitly stated, the protagonist is, according to Sojiro, a country boy. The numbering of palaces inside of the game's files hints at the possibility of Akechi having a palace right before Shido, which ultimately ended up being cut. To further support this, there's a number of unused text that contains Akechi's reaction upon receiving a calling card, which shows him breaking character in front of a number of people. The song Jail in Abyss from Persona 5 Strikers is purposely made to sound like a phone ringtone. The entire animation of Morgana and An's Showtime when viewed in the Thieves' Den movie section features a mouse cursor in the upper left corner of the screen, clearly foreshadowing Persona 5's PC release. When you interact with the music shop in Kichijoji on the last day, it's revealed that Iwai plays the guitar. If your proficiency is high enough during the 6th palace, Joker will spin his phone like a basketball while in the Phantom Thieves' hideout. Akechi and Makoto were initially planned to be siblings, which explains their loosely similar appearance. When you check the stats screen for An and Morgana after using their Showtime attack in battle, they will have the same anime faces with sparkly eyes that were used in it. All of the art assets in the game had to be redrawn when porting the game to the PlayStation 4, as it meant to jump from 720p to 1080p. However, when the game later got ported to PC with 4K graphics, Atlas instead resorted to using AI to upscale its art. The events of Persona Q2 take place during the 6th palace of Persona 5. Joker doesn't actually need his glasses and he merely wears them for fashion points. Persona 5 Strikers reused a lot of scrapped concepts and ideas originally planned for Persona 5, including a real-time battle system which was actually considered for the original game, but was promptly dismissed in fear of scaring away longtime fans of the series. Originally, Persona 5 was going to be about traveling the world, but after the 2011 Tohoku earthquake, it was refocused to take place in Tokyo. While scaled back, Persona 5 Strikers features the cast going on a road trip around Japan, meaning the game's directors got to make some of their original vision come true. The animated intro for Persona 5 Royal is animated by MAPPA Studios, which is behind animes like Chainsaw Man and Jujutsu Kaisen. The wine glass that Kamushita's boss form holds has a model of On inside of it. When the teacher asks you a question and you answer, Mishima turns his head in your direction. I told you these were gonna be useless. <laughs> Persona 5 Royal Official Completion Guide states that both of the new endings added in this re-release are considered the true ending, with one internally being named the Stay Ending and the other the Return Ending. Early on in the game's development, instead of the I Am Thou, Thou Art I screen when making a new confidant, Igor would have teleported into frame and said a contract has been forged. There's a bug in the game that sometimes gives Joker a massive unnatural grin in his victory screen. What's interesting is that nobody's quite sure what exactly causes it to happen. 
Shoji Meguro, the main composer for the game, admitted that his favorite song from the soundtrack is Butterfly Kiss, which plays in Takemi's office. The protagonist always looks for flashy and efficient solutions, both in the metaverse and the real world. That's why I brought him here today to talk about our video's sponsor, FlexiSpot. Take it away, Joker. Hey there, it's me, the one and only Joker Persona 5, here to introduce you to the E7 Pro from FlexiSpot. The next generation desk with a sleek and stylish design which can seamlessly transition from sitting to standing at the push of a button. This ergonomic marvel enhances efficiency and improves your posture. Boasting a spacious desktop with a built-in USB slot, it's perfect for all kinds of gadgets. Don't miss out on the Black Friday sale. Use code THISCALL for 10% off at checkout and pre-order for an even lower price. Act fast, the quickest daily payment wins 50% cash back. Upgrade your workspace with Ease of Pro today. Thank you so much, Joker, and thank you, FlexiSpot, for sponsoring this video. Alright, back to the facts. Madarame's scheme of hiding the Sayuri and selling forgeries is similar to the theft of the Mona Lisa in 1911, which some people believe to have been staged in order to sell copies of forgeries. The fastest possible time to touch grass in Persona 5 is approximately 6.5 minutes, with the first blade of grass being found in Joker's flashback sequence in the suburbs. There is a reference to Persona Tree's wild duck burger on the train. The Baton Pass tutorial mistakenly refers to SP as MP, which does not exist in Persona 5. Considering Persona 5 takes place in Tokyo, it makes it the first Persona game to take place in a non-fictional location. The song that plays inside of Big Bang Burger is a march, foreshadowing its dark, strict, and unforgiving corporate side. Despite most of Persona 5's soundtrack predominantly featuring the piano, the game's additional composer, Toshiki Konishi, admitted that he doesn't actually know how to play it. Hifumi and Mishima's designs were originally meant to be for Phantom Thieves, however, ultimately they got repurposed for the confidants that we know today. The English voice actor for the artificial intelligence, Emma, in Persona 5 Strikers, is Susan Bennett, who is the original voice for Apple's virtual assistant, Siri. After Kamoshida confesses, you'll be able to see officers all around the school, which will ask if he did anything to you. You can respond saying he threatened you, sexually assaulted you, or appeared in front of you naked, incriminating him even further. All the DVDs you can rent and movies you can watch are references to real movies and TV shows. While there's way too many to show off here, I'll leave a link of all of them in the description if you're curious. <laughs> Though I gotta say, my personal favorite is the film titled Like a Dragon, which is a reference to Sega's Yakuza games as they're known in Japan. Oh yeah. Panther's Phantom Thief outfit was directly inspired by the fictional DC comic character Catwoman. If you don't have enough money to travel, Morgana will pay for a train back to Yongan Jaya with a secret savings. Where the heck did he get that from? When the robots in the Kumaras palace are being dumped into the lava, the robots give a thumbs up before they die, being a clear reference to Among Us. There are a ton of cameos on the loading screen that shows up when traveling between rooms, such as Ryuji, An, Iwai, and Takemi. There might be more, but those are the only ones I can confirm for myself. While inside of the Velvet Room, you can interact with the bed inside of your cell which causes you to hear a distorted voice that gets clearer and clearer after completing each palace. Mika, who is Aunt Akamaki's rival in the fashion industry, is the only character in the original version of Persona 5 to have character portrait yet to lack a voice actor, though they ended up being voiced in Persona 5's royal re-release. After Joker awakens to his persona, he gains a unique idol animation of inspecting his new outfit, which can only be seen at the very start of the game. Persona 5 had an exceptionally long development cycle that started its very early stages of development all the way back on the PlayStation 2, long before its eventual release on the PS3 and PS4. Sai's treasure is the only one not to be revealed to us directly, however, it is theorized by Makoto to be her father's personal journal. The 16 on Shinya's jacket is a subtle nod to the fact that he represents the 16th Arcana, the Tower. Some songs on the OST have an ELP version which gets their name from the fact that they only feature an electric piano and percussion. During the infiltration of Kanashiro's palace, Makoto can be seen stalking you around the overworld wherever you go with a magazine covering her face, though I can't say she's doing a very good job at being sneaky. When you get the top score in the class, you can hear people whisper about it around the school. 
At one point in development, Joker was going to live in Sainijima's fancy apartment instead of the messy attic in the Blanc. And finally, the initial plan was for Kasumi to be the protagonist's female counterpart, as suggested by unused code that let her use his dagger and concept art that features her wearing the very same mask as him. Thank you for sticking around till the very end. If you want to hear more useless Persona 5 facts, let me know in the comments below. Your support means a lot, so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned for next video. Until next time, take care and see ya!